August 2021. India is set to begin the 75th year of its independence. India enters this year as a leading world power as the president of the United Nations Security Council. It is a rotating presidency with India at the helm in the month of August. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be making history. He will become the first Indian Prime Minister to preside over a meeting during India's presidency at the UN Security Council. Prime Minister Modi will be addressing the council virtually during a debate on maritime security. His message to the world? India knows how to lead from the front and is ready to play a larger role at the United Nations. What is on India's agenda as president? Maritime security, peacekeeping and counter-terrorism. These are issues that also top India's foreign policy priority. Take maritime security, for example. India believes in a rules-based order. As the UNSC president, India has the chance to highlight this. It is also an opportunity for India to, one, address China's aggressive posturing in the South China Sea, two, deliberate on the problems faced by its Southeast Asian allies, three, shine light on the growing presence of Chinese ships in the Indian Ocean region, and four, make leaps towards becoming a major blue economy. India has organized three high-level signature meetings, each focusing on maritime security, peacekeeping and counter-terrorism. One must remember, counter-terrorism is to Pakistan what maritime security is to China. In other words, India has both its interests and adversaries in mind as it sits at the helm of global policy making. Islamabad knows this. Pakistan will be watchful, said Pakistan's ambassador to the UN, Munir Akram. This is what India's external affairs minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, tweeted. India will be the voice of moderation, an advocate of dialogue and a proponent of international law. The minister will be travelling to New York later this month to chair two important debates. India is currently a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. These are the five permanent members and these the current members. It is time India got a position in the first list because India is the world's largest democracy home to one-fifth of the world's population, the fifth largest and one of the fastest growing economies, a leader of the global south, a champion of United Nations initiatives, one of the largest contributors to the UN peacekeeping force. Over 200,000 Indians have served in 49 peacekeeping missions since 1948. India's permanent membership already has the support of the majority of the P5. It is time India is given a permanent seat at the UN Security Council. Bureau report, we on World is One.